Hey my lovelies, this is a get ready with me video and this is going to be part one of it. This is just the makeup. Um, first thing I'm going to do is get my L'Oreal light infusing primer and just put it all over my face. And if I'm looking down or to the side, um, looking down part of it, I'm looking at a mirror and if I look to the side I was watching something on my um, computer so ignore that. And I'm already in my outfit but you'll see that will be in part three and that will be of the outfit part of the day and I decided to split this up into three videos uh, just so that it wasn't excruciatingly, excruciatingly long and I could uh, just do a voiceover for this part. Um, there's also going to be a hair part. Alright, and now I'm putting my uh, light concealer on from CoverGirl which I always put on and I put this um, under my eyebrow and in the middle of my forehead or in between my eyebrows, um, down the bridge of my nose and under my eyes, cover up my dark circles. And I'm just blending that in with my Real Techniques uh, Deluxe Crease Brush. Now I'm going to go ahead and get my stippling brush and get my Ulta foundation in medium and putting it directly on the brush and just stippling it on. If you're new to my channel, you'll see that it's white and the reason it is is because um, it's actually one of those shade adjusting ones, which I really like because there's really no way you can mess it up. Um, so I'm just blending that in with my stippling brush. I'm putting a little bit more on than I normally do because we are going to dinner and I want to look really nice. So I'm just blending that in. And, um, now I'm going to go ahead and get my uh, stay matte powder after I blend that in with my fingers and don't pay any attention to my nails they're really short right now because they were in a state so I need to grow them out a little bit now that's uh, my stay matte powder in 005 silky beige uh, just setting my forehead and a little bit on my cheeks um, the my eyes where I put the concealer just so it doesn't move um, and it, it makes a nice uh, base for my cream eyeshadow that I'm going to be putting on later in the video so I'm just setting that all over my face. Next, I'm going to go ahead and get my eyebrow brush from Real Techniques and my e.l.f. Uh, brow kit in medium using the, um, I don't know, gel I guess. I don't know if it's gel, like the paste or whatever. And just filling my eyebrows and then I'm going to go ahead and um, do the powder and I think that I took a little bit longer than normal to do my eyebrows but that's because I was trying to shape them and they were being really annoying I have really awkward eyebrows and I'm grooming them now to the shape that I want them to be in because um, I, I like a high arch on my eyebrows so next after I finish with my eyebrows it took me like a, a million years to fucking finish them. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get my cream shadow and this is the Maybelline Eye Studio or Color Studio or whatever the fuck it's called. Um, 24 hour color tattoo and this is an audacious as asphalt. I'm going to put it all over my eyelid as my base leaving the outer corner and inner corner um, pretty much bare because that's where I'm going to be putting um, a different color in the inner corner and then a different base and color um, for the outer corner. I'm just blending that in nicely. Next, after I blend, I'm just blending, blending, blending. And it sounds like I'm getting sick, but I'm not. I don't know what's up with me, but whatever. I'm going to go ahead and get my uh, little eyeshadow brush and my e.l.f. palette and use that to some grays and just put that all over the um uh, the color tattoo just to set it and it just makes that gray color really stand out really nicely and I really really enjoy it so I'm uh, just patting it over the line with a flat uh, shader brush which I really enjoy using actually then I'm gonna get my little tiny brush and my color tattoo and I'm gonna run this under my lash line and all this does is and just makes my lash line have something interesting on it and it makes the top less top heavy um, and that way when I have the, the liner in the waterline 
it's not just water in the water line and then all, everything else going on on top so that's why I do that then I'm going to get my elf palette again and get the shimmery uh, white color that I always use for my inner corner and I'm going to use that same little brush to just uh, fill in that inner corner and it just makes a really nice gradient from that shimmery color to the gray uh, to the black that we'll be putting in the inner corner um, and it makes a really nice smoky eye so I really really enjoy doing that I've been doing that a lot lately um, the times that I'm going somewhere and then that's my NYX uh, jumbo eye pencil in uh, black bean just putting it on the outer corner and a little bit into the crease and that's going to serve as our base when we use my black shadow to um, blend it out and if you hear coughing uh, it's my puppy in the background he ate some acorns and so now he's coughing after the vet and stuff so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get that black shadow right there it's a matte and then I'm just gonna blend out um, in the outer corner and into the crease with that black shadow blending out the eye pencil and this just makes a really nice cat eye smoky eye type deal uh, that I really like doing like I already said I sound kind of exhausted too. It's very strange. But I guess fall does that to you. And there's me cleaning up my mess a little bit because I went a little bit over the top on the other side and just blending that area that I messed up on. So as you can see, it makes a really nice, uh, pretty, smoky eye. And I'm going to make the most unattractive face in a minute. Up there it goes. You're just blending it out. Next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and get my black eyeliner and uh, that's my eye studio one by Maybelline and going to go and get my liner brush and line my eyes a little bit and just gonna line the upper lash line with that and then I'll show you uh, what I did for the waterline and tight line. So, just um, brushing it across and into the inner corner and just putting a nice, uh, relatively thin line on the top there. Just to kind of define the eye and make it the look all kind of tie together. Then I'm going to go ahead and get a black eyeliner pencil and I am going to dip it into my uh, gel eyeliner and I'm going to use that to give me some um, precision in my uh, waterline and on the top there <clears throat> and that just gives me nice precision and stuff and prevents there any smearing or anything and it works brilliantly for the top of the tight line because it's small enough to get up there you don't have to like pull on your eye and um, potentially uh, ruin your eyeshadow, which would suck. And now I'm going to go ahead and get my uh, e.l.f. liner sealer and primer duo stick thing and I'm going to seal the top line just so it doesn't budge or smear or anything like that. And I don't know what I would do without this product. It's only $3 and it is a miracle worker with my eyeliner since I wear eyeliner all the times that I wear makeup. And next, I'm going to go ahead and get my blush. This is NYX's Blush in Dusty Rose. I'm just putting that on the top of my cheekbones like so. just need a little slight dusting on there. Now I'm going to go ahead and get my hard candy highlighter. Uh, this is a cream highlighter and it's called Doll Face and I'm just applying a little bit with the two on the tops of my cheekbones um, and just going to blend it out really well with my finger and I accidentally put too much on that side so that's why I'm using my ring finger to uh, take out the excess and then just blending it on the other side and then just taking a little bit onto my cupid's bow and just like checking myself out, checking out the shimmer. <laughs> Next, I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes using my $1 eyelash curler that I got from the dollar store. And then I'm going to take my Maybelline's Great Lash, uh, Lots of Lashes Mascara 
um, and coat my lashes with a few coats of that and my bottom lashes because I really like the applicator. It's kind of tapered at the end, so it gets all those lashes in the inner corner and on your bottom without making a big mess. Um, and so I just apply a few coats of that, and then I'm going to go ahead and get my um, L'Oreal uh, Collagen Mascara and putting a few coats of that um, on my eyelashes as well after I finish doing this. And I have my Fit Me Maybelline Compact right there that I'm using as the mirror of. I've never, I've used the product a little bit, and but I've never used the powder puff in there. But I really enjoy the mirror, so that's what I've been using. So I'm just going ahead with my L'Oreal Mascara. Giving a few good coats, wiggling the brush up, and making my eyelashes look very big. And with a lot of volume, because that's just what I really like. Um, my eyes to look like. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and continue coating these lashes for about a million years. I swear, that's the longest part of my whole entire makeup routine is putting on my mascara because I like a lot of it and I've never found a mascara that's fully, um, given all the volume without having to put multiple coats on. And I don't like wearing false lashes, so... I feel awkward on my eyes. Um, and I still couldn't find my lipstick. I ended up going with Revlon's Really Red and, and Revlon's Why Not a mix on my lips. So I just decided to show you that this is the eye look and my face, and that's it.